the winner's circle here won this meet a year ago. Um, Tyson, you didn't have Trevor Wanneke here today to uh, compete against. Uh, when did you realize that he wasn't going to be out there, and what did that do to the uh, scope of this race? Well, I got I got out the way I wanted to. I got out relaxed, and I was just kind of waiting for him, like kind of cruising. I didn't hear him at all, so it's just like, so I, like my race strategy was just kind of do my own thing. If he comes up with me, that I, I would just stay with him. If if he passed me, that I would just sit on him. But I kept going through the race, and I didn't hear him. And like I was kind of listening to people cheering, like I'd go by Dodge Point people and I didn't hear him cheering for him, so I was kind of like, okay, where is he? So I got, I kept going in the race and I didn't want to look behind me, just to be, like if maybe he was like right behind me, then it just kind of slows me down. So I kept going, I got to the mile mark and he still hadn't come up. So I just kind of peeked behind me and then there's a big gap and then Boscobel and Darlington people, so I was just kind of surprised then. So it's just like, and you, you expect somebody to push you in the race and then they don't show up, so it's just like, okay, by myself now. <laughs> did you see him in warm-ups? Did you see him at the start line? Yeah. I did you look? Did you even look for him? <laughs> kind of, but I, I didn't. Like I saw him warming up. The word we but, got was he was just held out, and and, if, yeah. and and perhaps maybe not ready to go. But uh, um, you know, obviously you had your own yeah. goals, whether Trevor wanted he was in the race or not. Did you accomplish those today? How do you feel about your time? Yeah, my, my time was okay considering like I didn't have anyone push me. There's somebody said like 16-12, which is six seconds faster than last year in the course record. So I, don't know, I, I think I did okay just for the circumstances that I had. But if I get in a race where I can be pushed and like get good weather and stuff, because it was kind of windy on the back stretch, like some of the back long stretches here. Sure. So yeah, so I, I'm pleased of how I did. Like I know that I can do better in other races, but just today, that's how it went. And uh, the other component to this race today, the defending Division Three state champs, Darlington, open up with a lot of new faces. It looked as though those new faces uh, had the same old race mentality. Trailed after one mile by our projections, made up ground after two, and then, you know, managed, it looks like, to win this, this invitational title. Why don't you talk about what you got performance-wise behind you, because when you yeah. finished, there were a lot of black jerseys not too far behind. Like if people look at our results from state meet, they see sophomore, senior, 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 senior for the top five. So like people aren't expecting us to do good, but we got Quinn Cullen who was third today. He was had an iron deficiency all last year and didn't run well, but now like he's back up there taking his iron. We call him Iron Man now. <laughs> so um, he's, he's running well, and then. Like just, we had our two guys on the, the two other guys on our state team last year, Kyle or Kyle Schulte and Garth Garrison. Like they've been working hard, and Thomas Schultz put in a lot of miles this year, and he's he's a sophomore this year, and he's our third guy now. Then we've got Robert Martin and Patrick Roach, for, who are both seniors, and they've been putting in the work and putting in the miles, and they're getting up to the varsity too. And we got a lot of spots to fill, and. The one thing this year that we lack that we didn't have last year is our depth. So it's, it's crucial that people stay healthy and like we just kind of do our thing. Last question, and I'll let yeah. you go. I know you're, you're friends with Hannah Owens, the girls' champion from Dodge Point. Yeah. Did she say anything to you before the race, and is there any one-upsmanship there? Nah. Not really, because if I say I'm one-up, then she probably wouldn't be too happy. That's right. Well said. <laughs> that